Hello everyone, welcome to the session 23 in Maven series. In this session, we are going to see how we can run a single test and XML file from multiple XMLs as per user choice using Maven command. So a few days back, one of the candidate asked this question and he is facing issue while handling this type of scenario. So as an example, let's consider in our framework under the XMLs folder, I have Sanity XML, Regression XML and Coverage XMLs. Okay, so among these three XMLs, I want to run a single test and XML file using a Maven command. So how I can do that? So for demonstration, I have this Maven uh, project. Under this Maven project, I have created uh, three test ng XML files. Okay. So these are the three uh, test ng XML files from which we are running different test ng methods. And that I have created under the SRC test Java. Okay, so different package contain different test ng classes and it contains some test ng methods. So here we are going to print some statement only as of now. So if I want to run any of the test ng XML files using the Maven, I need to set up a uh, Surefire plugin in the pom.xml file. So I have added uh, Surefire plugin, so compiler plugin and Surefire plugin here. So for the Surefire plugin, we need to define the configuration for our suit XML files. So if I want to run the sanity xml file, I need to provide the file name here, sanity.xml. But this file is available under the xmls folder. So here I need to provide the folder name as well, xml slash sanity.xml. Okay, so currently we have hard coded this test ng uh, file name here in the surefire plugin. Okay, so my requirement is uh, I should have some parameter by which I can provide the name of the test ng XML file that I want to run. Okay, so at the runtime, I will provide the name of the test ng XML file and that uh, test ng XML file should run. Okay, so if you hard code this value every time the sanity.xml file will run. Right, let's try to run this XML first and then we will see how we can uh, create the parameter and how we can run it, how we can uh, provide the test ng file name at the runtime. So all the four tests uh, from the Senate XML files has been executed. Okay, and if I want to run some uh, test from the regression XML, again I need to change the file name here. Regression.xml. Okay, this is working fine. So now challenge here is I need to uh, update the test and the XML file name again and again. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to create a parameter here and I will send the value of that parameter and that value will be used in Surefire plugin here. Okay, so how we can do that? So that is our scenario how we can run the single testing XML file as per the user choice. So first in the pom.xml file create a property. So I will use the property stack. And I'm going to create a property name file. So for this property, you can provide any default file name or any default uh, test ng XML file that you want to run. Okay, so in case you want to run this project directly, the default test ng XML file that should be run. So that name you can provide here. Okay, so for example, let's say I'm going to run XML slash sanity. In case user do not provide any parameter value, the sanity XML file will be executed by default. So to use this file property as a parameter, uh, go to the Surefire plugin and here we need to define that parameter. Okay, so we have already a parameter name that is file. So we need to use the dollar and give curly bracket and this is my file parameter. So whatever uh, value for this file parameter I provide while running this Maven project using the Maven command, that uh, value will be used here in the Surefire plugin. Okay. So this is the setting you need to do. So let's try to verify if it is working or not. So we need to provide the parameter at the runtime while uh, running the Maven command. So I will go to the terminal. Okay. And I will give mvn. Let's say clean test okay so if you run this command this will by default uh, take the sanity xml file 
okay because by default value for this file parameter is xml slash sanity dot xml hit enter okay working fine so now i want to run the regression xml okay so i will give space hyphen d then here we need to provide the parameter name that is my file equal to you double quote and under double quote i need to provide the parameter value so if you run this command the value for this file parameter is xml slash regression dot xml so that will be given here So we are giving choice to the user whatever test ng xml file they want to run they can provide that name at the runtime in the maven command so you can see here test cases from the regression suit has been executed now if i want to run the coverage xml just use that name in the maven command coverage dot xml So even though you are using any Jenkins job to trigger your automation, you can create a Jenkins parameter for this file and name you can provide at the runtime from the Jenkins job. Okay, so that also you can do to run the any test ng XML file from the multiple test ng XMLs. Okay, so I will quickly show you from the Eclipse as well. So many people use the Eclipse. Okay, so same project I have opened in the Eclipse ID. So for the Eclipse, we don't have any terminal. So if I want to run the Maven command, right click on your Maven project or right click on the pom.xml file, then go to run as, then click on Maven build. So here you can provide the goal that we want to run. So here we don't require to use the MVN because we are using the Maven project, we are going to run the Maven project. So in case you are using the terminal or command prompt, you need to use this MVN keyword. Okay, so for the Eclipse, we don't require. So MVN, then clean test so if we run this this will use the sanity.xml by default right so let's run it and then we will try to run the regression xml so again right click on the maven project go to run as maven build then clean test hyphen d your file parameter its value in the double quote so xml slash regression dot xml click on run so as per the user choice the test cases from the regression suit will be executed okay so very important scenario guys in the real-time projects as well as in the interviews as well thank you